Yo, you too, yo. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I drop a banger YouTube video, y'all. And also, make sure you guys go follow my Twitch. I'm streaming there live every single day. But basically, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the best inside center ever in NBA 2K23. This build is going to break the game. You guys are going to be able to get contact dunks and play great defense just a quick disclaimer this is not a shoot and center build this is an inside center build so with this build you're gonna be able to get contact dunks you're just you're just gonna be a complete demon nobody is stopping you in the paint the paint is literally going to be yours after you make this build but before we get into it like i said make sure you sub up hit that like button and turn on your post notification bell just take a quick second get out of full screen sub up at your notice because i'm dropping straight bangers every single day and make sure you guys go follow my twitch as well but let's get right into it y'all all right y'all so you're going to want to make the position a power forward right hand left hand does not matter what you pick for the height you're going to want to go six nine weight 248 and wingspan you're going to want to put it to seven seven and the body shape put it to build like i said this build is not a shooting center build so do not expect to have you're literally gonna have zero shooting badges after you guys make this build so do not even worry about shooting this build is gonna be basically finishing and defense and you're gonna have a little bit of playmaking because you guys do not want to be losing the ball at all so basically you're gonna want to put your close shot to a 62 then you're gonna want to put your drive and layup to a 74 because you know you got to have a pretty good drive and layup or you're not gonna you're gonna be missing wide open layups for the drive and dunk this one you're going to be getting contact dunks with this you're going to get a 92 driving dunk for the standing dunk as well you're going to be getting 88 so you're going to be able to go with the ball as quick as possible and you're going to have a less chance of getting blocked then for the post control you're going to want to go ahead and go with the 34 and these are the finishing badges right here y'all boys can see the tier ones tier twos and tier threes you guys see you get limitless takeoff on goal limitless takeoff is so op in this game you are going to be jumping from the three point line the free throw you know what i mean you're just going to be jumping from so far away and you're going to be getting so many contact dunks then for the pass accuracy you're going to put it at an 80 a lot of people say no just put it at a 70 80 if you put it at an 80 you are going to be throwing dimes you're going to be throwing steamers you're going to be dotting your teammate wide open the defender is not even going to be able to get near him because you're going to be throwing the ball so fast and then for the ball handle you're going to want to go ahead and put it out of 45 and then the speed with ball go ahead and put it with at a 28 and then for the playmaking badges y'all see what we're getting tier ones tier twos and tier threes you guys are not going to be able to be losing the ball as much you guys are probably like a 45 ball handle bro just just do not be dumb with the ball do not be dribbling they face just hold on to the ball pass fake do what you need to do but the best thing about this playmaking is the 80 pass accuracy you're going to be throwing dimes like i said then for your interior defense you're going to want to go ahead and put this out of 84 and make sure you guys are being careful do not rush making this build because i know bro if you guys are not being careful everything can just reset everything can mess up but for the perimeter defense you're going to want to go ahead and go with an 85 and then for the steal you're going to want to go with the 86 as well so this defense this build is going to really have the greatest defense ever bro i'm telling you right now and for your block you're going to want to go 99 and for your offensive rebound you're going to want to go with a 98 so you're going to be dogging out these shooting centers i'm not gonna lie this is the only good thing about an inside center this year you're going to be bullying these shooting centers they're not going to be having that great as a rebound as a inside center was because a shooting center you're going to need to focus more on shooting defense and finishing a little so you cannot just go op and finishing and defense so for your speed you're going to want to go ahead and go with a 78 then for your acceleration you're going to want to go with a 72 then your strength they're going to want to go with a 94 y'all boys so you guys are not going to be getting bullied in the paint all that is done for nobody is going in your paint if you know how to play great defense nobody is going in your paint after you make this build all right y'all boys one thing you need to go down put your post control to a 34 i'm pretty sure i did have it at 34 but like i said bro when you're going a little too fast it messes it up so go ahead and put your stamina at an 87 and the rest of the attributes put them on free throw because that's the only thing you can put them on and this is how our 
build is looking y'all boys 18 0 9 and 33 this build is gonna be so dominant in the paint i'm telling you right now like i said you're gonna be getting so many contact done it's gonna be so overpowered all right y'all boys so you're going to want to go with box out wall for the first primary takeover it's up to you but personally these are the best takeovers i would recommend going with and then for the other takeover the secondary takeover you're going to want to go ahead and go with paint intimidation rim take is so overpowered in this game once you have rim take it's less likely nobody is coming in your paint especially if you have the six nine big body center in the paint nobody is stepping in his way bro they're just gonna fear you on the court and as y'all boys can see we made a paint beast a big body paint beast y'all boys so hey if this video was helpful for you guys make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell as well as go follow my twitch it's going to be linked down below hey y'all boys stay safe and your boy kane is out ask my name like pasta record everything i'm making nobody stop me and fuck my enemies you know we complete we get in the breach no you cannot be a friend of me ball hard like i'm lonzo seen that money with my eyes closed she calling out she want to facetime she my name she like pasta record everything i'm making nobody stop me and fuck my enemies you know we complete we get in the breach no you cannot be a friend of me